guys. Today's Tuesday. I'm just cooking up a little bit of egg whites here with some super greens and a little sweet pepper. And I'm going to make my oatmeal. Let me go grab that. I'm going to make up a big batch of the um, this kind, the quick cook steel cut oats later on. Um, but right now I'm hungry and I just want to get it done, so I'm just going to do the regular old fashioned. And of course my nuts and more peanut butter. And then over here... I have my coffee. So, got that going, and then I will see you in right, a little it's bit. snack time. I'm a little hungry. Well, a lot hungry. Um, I had breakfast probably like a little over two hours ago. Whoa! I wish I would have been showing that. That was hilarious. So I'm having a piece of Ezekiel toast with my almond butter that I just read on the side here. You're supposed to refrigerate after opening. I have not been doing that. And then I have a strawberry banana... Kale, spinach, chard, almond milk, yogurt, water, smoothie that I'm about to blend up. And I'm going to mow on that and then I'm going to wait a little bit and start my workout. Today is going to be upper fix. So far I'm going in order. I don't know if I'll continue to go in order or if I'll do a full 21 days or not. I'm not sure. So I'm going to get into that. I'm going to try to do 10s and 12s. I can't remember if this one has you do two sets of weights or not. I know an extreme... 21 day fix extreme you do use two sets so we'll see how hey it goes. Hey guys, just finished 21 day fix upper fix. Um, I'm going to set my arm down because it's a little tired. I just was thinking during this workout, I hope you can still see me. Um, I was thinking during this workout that when I first started 21 day fixed fall of last year, I was using two pounds and five pounds as my light and my heavy. And those were too much. The fives were too much. Um, and I remember thinking, gosh, these girls, how are they using 10 pounds? They're, I'm never going to get there. And today I use 10s as my light and I use 12s as my heavy. And pretty soon I'll be able to get to 12s as my light and 15s as my heavy. And I remember when I first started, I couldn't even do a full push up, a full man push up. I could barely do a girl push-up on my knees. I couldn't do more than five. And they weren't proper form at all. Um, but today I just did 17 full man push-ups. No break in between. Two times. Because there's two rounds of the one minute of, <clears throat> of push-ups. That's insane. I never thought I would get there and never thought it would be easy to finally do a push-up. Um, and I even showed my husband, who, um, if you guys know, he was in the Marines. And I, I joke around saying that I have certified Marine push-ups. Um, and he's trying to teach me how to do the, the inner body ones, where your elbows go back towards the ceiling, close to your chest. Um, those are really hard for me right now, but give me a couple months and I'll probably get there too. Because I was able to do the full ones and I never thought I could. And now I'm sitting here talking to you guys, telling you that I can do it, and I just did. Um, that's just insane. It just shows you that there's no limit to what you can do. And Autumn talks about that a little bit in, in this workout. She talks about your body will only do what your mind allows it. And that's true. If you allow your mind to set goals for you and set limitations, you're only going to follow the limitations. If you set goals and you go higher and higher each time, there's no stopping you. Your body will adapt and adjust. Um, I was thinking too about how I'm fighting this disease every day and I don't talk a lot about it um, because I don't want it to sound like a pity party and I don't want it to sound like I'm trying to get attention, but I am trying to be an advocate for those who also battle this disease. Um, this disease skyrocketed my weight and it wouldn't let me take it off. And I finally started the medication a couple years ago and I started noticing a change and I was like, okay, but how mine is going. So if, for those of you that don't know, um, I had an ultrasound a couple months ago that showed that my body, um, attacked my thyroid. There's not really anything left of it. There's a couple bits and pieces. And so I'm on a full replacement dose as if I were to go in through surgery and get my thyroid taken out. I'm on that same kind of dose. Um, so pretty much I'm on synthetic thyroid. I don't have a real one anymore. 
I'm not really sure why that is. They haven't been able to figure it out. Um, but it's frustrating because my body will kind of adapt. And, and like I said in the video the other day about how I'll go on a medication and I'll have to go, ch go in and get my blood work done and then it'll change and then I'll be good on that medication for a little while and then I'll have to go in and get it changed. And it's kind of like a uphill battle. And towards the end of when I'm about done with my current dose, and I have to go in and get it changed again, I can tell that my body's not reacting to my clean eating and my working out. So imagine being 100% on point with what you're putting in your body and doing the 30 minutes of intense workouts a day and doing that for weeks on end and not seeing an ounce of change. Not even an inch, not even a centimeter. Your clothes aren't fitting any different because they say not to rely on the scale and I understand that, I know that. But it, when you're not seeing any difference at all, because your body's not allowing your metabolism to work correctly, that kind of sucks, you know, because it's like, gosh, why am I doing this? Yes, it's still good for your cardiovascular health and all that, but <clears throat> my voice is still froggy from the other day. I wish it, that would go away soon. I'm about to go get some lozenges, or lozengers, as my friend Ember says. Um, <laughs> that was so funny the other day she said that to me. And... Anyway, I just wanted to get on here and kind of talk about the struggles that even I go through and and on social media and on YouTube, it may look like I have it all together, but I get frustrated too, you know, but then I look at these triumphs like today where I'm like, gosh, I just did 17 push-ups in a row on my toes, fully to the ground and back up, back to back. I mean, it's just crazy to me. And I was using 12s as my heavy which to some of you probably is not a big big deal. You're probably like, 12s are my light or whatever, you know. But for those of you that aren't that far yet, it's just proof that you can do it. So I just wanted to show you guys that and kind of share that a little bit. And I'm about to go have my Shakeology. And a little bit after that, I'll probably have some lunch because it's pretty late. It's 12.54, so I would have liked to have lunch by now, but I didn't. Um, so we'll do that, and I'll see you in right. I just got out of the shower, and... I started up dinner and I wanted to show you guys, I've had a couple of people ask me how I make my salmon, um, so I wanted to show you guys real quick a little tutorial, I already got it going but it's real simple. I just buy the um, Kirkland brand from Costco frozen salmon and then I just let it thaw, I usually let it thaw in some water because they're um, individually packaged and that's what they're looking like right now. So the first thing I do is I turn my pan up all the way to high. Scorching hot, we have gas. We have a gas stove, so it gets pretty hot pretty quick. And then I just spray it with my Trader Joe's coconut oil spray. And I do a couple turns on each one of my Himalayan pink salt. A couple shakes of my um, black pepper. I do a couple more shakes on Hubby's because he likes it pretty peppery. And then just garlic powder. Simple. I think the flavor of the salmon just is really accent. What am I trying to say? Actuanted? No. I don't know. It really just takes on good flavor from just simple seasoning. And then once it's been on high a little while, I just turn it down to like medium. And then before I flip it over, I'll turn it back up to high to get a good skin on the other side. Because these are skinless and they're boneless, so it's really easy. And then I flip that over and I will be having... I had this for lunch too. I don't I think I forgot to film it though. Um, this mix that I got from Costco, the kale and red chard with the snow peas and the carrots and the broccoli. I'm going to steam that up in a pan with some liquid aminos, which, sorry for swinging it around, but if you don't know what those are, they're right here. It's a natural alternative to soy sauce, and it's really good. Um, there's no calories or anything in it. It does have a little bit of sodium, um, but you just don't, just don't go crazy with it, and it's definitely less sodium than say like real soy sauce, even the low sodium kind. Then I'll get down here and I will grab one of these. These are my favorite, favorite, favorite. I'm so obsessed with them. I hope Costco never stops carrying them because I don't know where else to find them. And they're just, it's just delis delicious. Seeds of Change is the brand and it's just organic quinoa and brown rice and it has garlic in it. It's just, oh my gosh, the flavor of this is insane. And it's just like the Uncle Ben's, you just put it in your oven, sorry, in your microwave, you turn the corner a little bit, 90 seconds, and you're done. So that's what we'll have. I already had a lot of carbs today, um, I had oatmeal and then I had some brown rice at lunch, so I may not have, sorry, I may not have the rice, I'm not sure yet, we'll see, 
I might just have a ton of veggies. And if you can notice this little um, alligator clip up here, I do this when I let my hair naturally dry curly to give it a little bit more volume because it tends to get flat. So that's why I look a little silly, but that's dinner and I'll show you what it looks like once it's on the plate. Oh, also real quick, um, the cooking time is like, let's say six to seven minutes on the first side and maybe like four to five minutes on the second side. And then I will finish with fresh lemon. I think this is the key. This is a really small lemon. This is the key to brightening up the flavors and just making it delicious. And I wanted to show you, so I just put those veggies in a pan with a little bit of water, have it on high. I sprayed it with my liquid aminos and then I cover it with a little bit of aluminum foil because I don't have a lid for that pan. I'll show you what it looks like. That is the finished product. I did decide to go with a little bit of the rice just because I love it so much with the salmon and the combination. And I put a little bit of fresh Parmesan on top of my vegetables too. They turned out pretty good. I did let them go a little long so the pan got a little too hot but they should be good. And then I did cut my salmon in half because it is a 7 ounce piece of salmon. So that's pretty big for me. And then I just put my other little guy in here. And then Matt's got his whole piece and then another whole piece for him to take to lunch tomorrow. So it turns out pretty good. It gets that little crust on there. So then he got more cheese than I did. And more rice. And then I got my water over here that I need to finish it. I feel I must document this occasion. I finally get to use my bathtub in my house after a couple years. Hubby redid this whole thing for me. He's working on the shower right now. And it looks dirty in here, but it's not. Some of the um, epoxy grout got in the tub, but he's going to fix that later on. I got my little pillow and my candle, and I have Epsom salt and coconut oil in there. You can see the kind of rings from the coconut oil, and I'm about to put my Lush bath bomb in that I bought like a year ago. Ooh, I'm so excited! <laughs> Hopefully it's not like deactivated because it's old. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, something flaked off. It's raspberry and it's got gold glitter in it. Oh, it's starting to do so. Oh, it's sinking. But it's bubbling. Hmm. We'll see. You guys, I finally drank all my water intake for the day. Isn't that crazy? I try to drink four of these a day, and I've been getting, like, three lately, so that's not good. I'm laying in bed watching some YouTube and about to go to bed, so I just wanted to quick say bye to you guys, and I will see you tomorrow.